Hello everyone. Today we're going to read a book called Miss Rabbit's Taxi. It's a Peppa Pig book from the 50 Incredible Peppa Pig book collection. Subscribe to my channel now and follow me where I'm reading so many other Peppa Pig books. So let's get on, let's subscribe and let's listen to all these other Peppa Pig adventure stories. So let's read Miss Rabbit's Taxi. Pepper and George are at the supermarket with Mummy Pig. That's a lot of shopping, says Miss Rabbit at the checkout. It's for Grandpa, explains Pepper. Granny is going away on holiday. Daddy Pig is waiting outside. Where's the car? asks Mummy Pig. I didn't bring the car, replies Daddy Pig. I didn't think you would be buying so much. I'll call for a taxi, says Mummy Pig. Hello, taxi service, says Miss Rabbit. A taxi will be with you shortly. I see you've been shopping, says Miss Rabbit. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Miss Rabbit, why are you talking so much? Asks Pepper. It's what taxi drivers do, Pepper, says Miss Rabbit. The taxi arrives at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Daddy Pig takes the shopping inside. Granny Pig calls for a taxi to take her to the airport. Luckily, Miss Rabbit is still there. Daddy Pig, Pepper and George go to the airport in Miss Rabbit's taxi with Granny Pig. Goodbye, my little one, says Granny Pig. I'll be back soon. Mr Wolf arrives on an aeroplane and gets in the taxi. How will we get home now, asks Pepper. We will have to call a taxi, says Daddy Pig. Miss Rabbit drives back to the airport to pick up Pepper, George and Daddy Pig. On the way, she finds Mr Bull standing in the middle of the road. I'm supposed to be mending the airport, but my truck's broken down, complains Mr Bull. I'm going to the airport, says Miss, Miss Rabbit. Have you got any luggage? Just this sand, replies Mr Bull. Mr Badger pulls a lever to pour the sand from the tipper truck into the taxi. Miss Rabbit's taxi is full of sand. Miss Rabbit's taxi arrives at the airport. Here's the sand, says Mr Bull to his workers, lifting up the front of the taxi. Now Miss Rabbit can drive Daddy Pig, Pepper and George home. Then you can have a rest, says Daddy Pig. I should be so lucky, says Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit gets back to the supermarket. There is a long line of customers queuing up to, queuing up to pay. Sorry to have kept you waiting, says Miss Rabbit. It's just another busy day for Miss Rabbit. The end. Hope you enjoyed that story, Miss Rabbit's Taxi. It's from the Peppa Pig book collection. So subscribe to my channel now where you'll be able to hear me read and you can watch so many of adventures from Peppa and her friends, her family, everyone. So subscribe now and see you soon. Bye-bye.